Mr Watson. Thanks, Deputy Speaker. On behalf of Labor, I want to extend my best wishes to Jewish communities who in the coming weeks will celebrate the holiest days in the Jewish calendar, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah, or Jewish New Year, occurs on the first and second days in the Jewish month of Tishri and marks the beginning of the high, high holidays for Jewish people around the world. Over two days, Jewish families and communities unite in prayer to reflect on the past year and share blessings for a prosperous year ahead. Some of the unique rituals of Rosh Hashanah are the blowing of the shofar, a ram's horn trumpet, repeatedly throughout the day, lighting candles in the evening and eating sweet delicacies to symbolise a fruitful and pleasant year ahead. Yom Kippur occurs on the 10th day after Rosh Hashanah. It is the highest point in the Yamin Naram, or 10 days of awe. For millions of Jewish people in Australia and around the world, this is a period of self-reflection, atonement for sins, prayer and charity. It's also a time to seek forgiveness for any wrongdoings against fellow human beings, and I'm grateful for the contributions the Australian Jewish communities have made to the multicultural fabric of our nation through politics, business and the community. On behalf of Labor, I wish everyone in the Australian Jewish community Shana Tova. May you enjoy peace and prosperity and be sealed in the Book of Life.